As a brand, Sophie Glory are heavily feminine and incorporate stereotypical female wordplay along with their 60s style pinup. Soon to be seen as outdated, more and more brands are becoming more inclusive and avoiding the pink and blue stereotypes in the aim of becoming an all-inclusive brand that fits with the social shift. The short-term objectives of this innovation include enabling Soap and Glory as a brand to enter new markets, which are the men's and gender-neutral skincare, both of which have been seen to be growing in value in previous years. Our long-term objective is to allow the brand to be seen as more inclusive as it is currently heavily aimed at one gender and has the potential to enter new markets. Our solution to this problem is to introduce the Gender Neutral Travel Kit by Soap & Glory. The kit will contain a face mask, moisturiser and wash and lip balm, all of which are 100ml and under, enabling them to be taken abroad in hand luggage and perfectly fitting with the laws on travel. Based on a survey we conducted, we found that there is a demand for this gender neutral travel kit because around 50% of people asked use soap and glory for their daily skincare. Over 50% of people asked say they would be discouraged from buying a skincare product based on the marketing and branding being aimed at one specific gender. The majority of people asked in the survey said that they would consider grey to be the most gender neutral colour. Using these results, the packaging will be designed in a simplistic and minimal way. The gender neutral travel kit will contain a face wash, a face mask and a face moisturiser. All three will be 100 millilitres. The kit will also contain a 30 millilitre lip balm. All of the products will be placed in a clear zip wash bag that is TSA approved. Based on research and Soap and Glory's current pricing, it's going to be at £15. This new venture for Soap and Glory is supported by the 10 Types of Innovation Theory by Keeley, Pickle, Quinn and Walters. We have selected brand, channel, network and product performance as the project's main innovation types. Brand will be the main type of innovation used. Under brand, two tactics will be utilised, brand extension being one of them. This is the process of introducing new product or line to an existing brand, in this case, introducing gender neutral. Along with this, brand leveraging will be used. This is using the power of an existing brand to aid a new product entry. Channel is another type of innovation which will be used. Channel is the process of which the product will be released to market. Three tactics will be utilised. Pop-up presence where pop-up stores will be placed in airports to aim for the travelling market. Experience centres where products can be tested and asked about. And cross-selling where the products will be sold alongside relevant products in store. Product performance is an innovation that allows businesses to outperform competitors on the attribute or benefit level. But we use this tactic to analyse its success throughout the four-month pilot launch. Tactics for product performance include added functionality, ease of use and styling. For ease of use, we want the product to be multifunctional for households, couples, families or friends that can all can share. Network is another innovation in which will aid Soap and Glory's success. Soap and Glory of the supply chain intelligence of Boots Alliance. The range will be easy to alter as they already have a smoothly run manufacturing process in play. All that will need altering would be the packaging process. If the brand was starting from scratch, the gender neutral kit would be twice as hard to launch. As customers are already familiar with the quality of the product, therefore they know what they're already buying into. With your support, releasing the Soap and Glory travel kit will allow Soap and Glory as a brand to move with the times and keep up with the new social shift.